What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you what a two handicap golf looks like. Going to run you guys through nine hole vlog every shot. All right, you guys, we have a 212 yard par three. I'm going to choke down on a three hybrid. Aim for that middle of the green. Pretty tough par three. Would be fine with just a two putt par. I think it's got to sit a little bit. Okay, back of the green. Okay, so we did fly it by, you know, 15 yards. So we got a long two putt here. I feel like it's gonna come right to left pretty heavily. We're just trying to get out of here with a two putt, but yeah, this thing's gonna swing right to left. Just gonna focus on speed. Felt like good speed. Really good speed. Oh, I'll take that. Whenever you have more than like a six iron, five iron for a part three, I always feel like those are tough to at least birdie when you'll take a par. Dog leg, left par five. Right now I'm just gonna play for the lip of that bunker with kind of a little bit of a draw. Wow. Feels so nice when you hit the center of the club face. Okay, so we got about 260 to the pin. Pin's all the way back. There's water, so it's either I'm hitting like an eight iron laying up or trying to rip a three wood, hopefully rolls up on the green. I would feel more comfortable with this, even if I'm in a greenside bunker or chipping rather than another full wedge shot and just hitting an eight iron on a par five field. Illegal, so we got a three wood. That's fine. Okay, so we left ourselves in a pretty good position here. We're right at the trap. Not a lot of obstacles in our way. It's gotta go a little uphill, so I got a 60 degree. Gonna try just check it, roll up. But right now, just kind of back of the stance. A little bit of an open club face. Kind of bounce like 15 feet in front of the pin. Go a hair. That should be really good. Sit, sit. Oh, I think I went a tiny bit past the pin, but. Okay, so we hit a good chip. We went a little bit by which now leaves us with kind of a downhill slippery one. I didn't think I would go that far by with a little bit of an uphill, but there's really not a lot in this putt. Um, I've got it almost straight. When I can't see a read, I kind of go straight. Stay there. Let's go. That's a big putt. That's a nice up and down. Got to take advantage on the par fives when I have 250 in or so. Okay, we got a 384 par four, kind of shortish, but it's a very narrow fairway. You can see that there's a bunker. On the right and the left, the one on the right's a little bit further, so we're gonna try favor the right side of the fairway, and we should have a wedge in if we don't go in the trap. And that's heading exactly in the trap. Ooh, oh no, we're actually short, short right. Okay, so we just stayed short of the bunkers, which I guess was like 275, and we just can't hit that. We got about 115 in, kind of in between a 50 degree or a 53. I'm gonna go with a full 53, just cause there's a little bit of wind behind us. Oh, that came out thin, but it's gonna work if it's the right number. Yeah, a little long cause it came out a bit thin, but yeah, kind of rushed that swing a bit. Okay, so we did obviously go a little long cause of the thin, but guess I'm glad I took the lesser club, but we got a kind of another downhill, you know, 12, 14 footer for a bird. I think it's gonna come this way a tiny bit and then this way at the end. We're definitely gonna favor that right side. Should go that way, Ugh, just a misread. I just didn't think it was gonna move that much. Clean up just up the hill. All right, I'll take a par there after a skull. Okay, this is a bit of a crazy hole. You can see that it's a very tight fairway. It's a short par four, dog leg left. You want to aim for that bunker there because then you have a clean shot. If I, if you overdraw, you're going to be blocked out by the trees. So I'm not taking driver. I got three wood. I'm going to aim just for the right side. Hopefully you have a clear shot in. Just catch a piece. Don't go in the trap. Be short. Okay, we're short. We just missed the bunker to the right. That's why I was just not gonna take a driver. You just don't need it. Right now we got about like 140. I got a smooth, smooth nine iron. Pulled it a bit. Just carry that bunker. It should. Yeah, all right, left side of the green, we'll have a putt. 
Okay, so we found the left side of the green, pulled a little bit, good number. Definitely gonna swing, it's gonna come a lot left to right. So right now I got my pot coming like right here. I think it's gonna move that much. Oh, it's gotta turn, oh, it's gotta turn. Oh my God. Wow. That had some eyes. That had some eyes. Okay, we got a 423 yard par four. My line is, I'm trying to take it over the edge of that tree. If you go too far right, you're gonna be blocked out for your shot. It doesn't look like it, but you are. So I'd rather be more left than right here. So I'm gonna take kind of an aggressive line and kind of go where the green is. Oh no. Just cut on me, be short. All right, it's gonna be close. I might have some tree branches in my way, but. Okay, so I think we do have a shot here. I just gotta get the ball up kind of quick. Try to play a little fade. I got 165, got a seven iron in hand. Yeah, definitely gotta play a little fade to avoid these branches at the start. Oh, cut. Go. I will take that. Any, ah, it's coming back. There's a big hill there. Oh man. But listen, as long as I didn't hit any branches. We're just gonna look here for a bit of a two pot. This is a very steep hill, hill though. Gonna move left to right for sure. Wow, moved a lot. There's still some chicken left there, damn. Okay, so we do have some chicken left and for these, I don't really like to read too much into it. I kinda like to just go firm. So I'm gonna play this just center cup firm. There we go, take care of business. Okay, we got a par four short. I don't know exact yardage, but I know it's not over 400. We're going for that big bunker in the distance with a tiny little bit of a draw. Turn, should be good. I don't think I can reach there. Okay, so really good position after the drive. Definitely couldn't reach this bunker. But we got about 102, 103 into the green. There's a false front, which you don't want to be short on. So I got a 56. Just gonna try to put it within 10 feet or so. Oh, I'll just be a good number because that's right at it. All right, think we're a little long, but shouldn't be that difficult of a putt. Sandra, uh, we got about, yeah, 20, 25 feet, which not happy about, not sad about, but now we got kind of like a downhill left to right guy. Mmm, great pot. We, yeah, we want to play cut, talk like right. Stay there, stay there, that should be perfect. Okay, so we found the right side of the fairway. We got 127 in, 50 degree. It's been the weakest part about my game right now. We're kind of just approaches, just not putting myself in good positions. Let's try change that. Like that's the issue. You just, you have it in and you just flare it out right. Sandra. Okay, so just another bad shot. Came off toey right, took off some distance. Got another lag putt here, uphill right to left. Maybe let's drain one. Really gonna swing that much? All right, I mean, dude, we've been playing solid golf, but we got one birdie, the rest pars, a lot of good two putts. Just gotta improve that approach game. All right, another par, two goals left. Okay, so we got a 426 yard par four. Very challenging tee shot with a driver. There's water all left. You don't really want to play a draw here because everything feeds towards the water. So we're just going to hit a three wood to that bunker. It's about 260 out there, so shouldn't be an issue. A little bit of a draw. We'll take that though. That's not near the water. Okay, so we still got a ways to go. We got 181 up the hill. I'm going to hit a six iron. I don't want to try smash a seven. Just going to hit a smooth six. Not expecting to put this one close, probably ending up with another two putt if we can hit the green, but let's just hit a nice smooth swing. Ooh, draw and go, draw and go. 
Oh, all right, pin high right. Probably my best approach out of the day, came with a six iron. All right, so we're just throwing darts on this hole. 181 six iron, it's the closest I've been this nine when I've had mostly wedges in hands. All right, let's see what we're gonna have. I can already tell uphill right to left. Yeah, up the hill right to left. Gotta keep the speed on this one. Yeah, I like this line, as long as I keep the pace. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh my God. I actually thought I kept the pace a lot there too. Another part, moving on to the ninth. And listen, I'm so happy with just one birdie and a lot of pars, but disappointed in my approach game on some holes. Okay, we got like 165. I'm gonna opt for the seven iron. Pins in the front, water short left. So definitely gonna try to play a draw in there. Just be the number. Stay there. Oh, another dart. Wow. Just hitting the seven and six. Phenomenal. Okay, so we put another close one in. Went past the hole. We're gonna have a downhill slider. Oh, wow. This is gonna be quick. Yeah, it's gonna be quick moving this way. So, what I'm thinking though is I'm on a hill here that's gonna push the ball this way and then come this way. So, it actually almost is kind of straight, to be honest. We're gonna hit it straight. We're gonna see if my caddy senses can do something. Oh, my caddy senses were so off. Definitely move right to left. Oh, good effort though. I will take that score any day though. Great score on a great hard course. Thank you guys for watching. Go like, comment, subscribe. We got some more videos coming your way.